My name is Karen, and I'm an artist who became a nurse. This is my story. I became a nurse because I see a lot of beauty in pain. I see that people are strong and that I, I know I have the capacity to help them get better because I have a lot of empathy. And I think that's what broke me as a nurse, that I cared too much. So here I am in an alley. A nicer alley than the alleys I usually used to work in when I was a mental health nurse. And just because I'm an unregistered nurse now in Canada doesn't mean I don't know what the fuck's going on with my own body. Sort of frustrating life right now. Visits back and forth to a doctor who can only address one problem for 10 minutes. Who makes me feel guilty that he spent an extra 20 minutes on me. It's a horrible screeching noise. Um, and he started asking me about my mental health. And then I started noticing that I was getting anxious. And that actually, in fact, I wasn't breathing. Because I felt like, kind of attacked. Like once you become a mental health client, every conversation, it seems like, with my doctor, he starts bringing up mental health. And then saying, why aren't you taking your psych meds? Well, I'm, I'm gonna take the responsibility and say like it started with me. I feel like all my problems started in nursing school because every time I felt sick a lot, my back was always hurting. And you just have to like, the patient is more important than me. If I say like I went, say I was too sick or hurt to work, I have to, it's, it's not the employer necessarily, it's me. I have to make sure that I can be fit to work. Um, I think now, 2019, like, after I was fired, I suppose, from the same health authority as St. Paul's, um, yeah, I, I look in there and I feel kind of lost. I think that I come here now all the time um, as a patient, like as a chronic pain patient, and the nurses sometimes say, like, I should, what if you tell them you have an addiction? What if you tell them that you're using drugs, that you're drinking more? You'll get mental health. You'll get a counselor faster. This community center really healed me when I couldn't work as a nurse because I was able just to make art and, like, play with kids and, yeah. I knew, like, I found my beauty in pain and art kind of saved my soul. So, like, I painted this. Um, how many years? I think in 2012. And I uh, painted it with two Spanish graffiti artists that I found on Craigslist. And yeah, the concept behind it is play and a little bit of activism. So like, um, yeah, it's kind of all faded now. But when I was a nurse in the hospital, you try to build community and, and like, I guess love with the person that you're with. Like it not like, like I love you, but like just that you're there with them. You're, you always say in nursing, you're there like alongside them helping them on their journey. And I think, um, I think uh, when you're with them, you're with them and they're really vulnerable. So you, as, what's, yeah, like you, you're, you're with them in their beautiful pain, I guess. And you're, you're holding, you're like kind of holding their hand be it with like a paintbrush or like giving them medication, helping them walk. You're, you're helping them see that they're a person and they're, um, that they're, they belong in the community, like they belong back in their homes.